Good evening, I'm Erin Coleman. And I'm Craig Lucy. Justin and Jovita have the night off. Tonight, police returned to the area where someone found human remains. Investigators told us they may belong to a fugitive. Detectives spent this evening searching for more clues. Channel 2's Carl Willis is live in Covington and Carl. Police have two theories about what they've discovered. Well, police believe this is the FBI's fugitive. Last seen four years ago, his car recovered from this hotel here behind me. They also believe this man wanted for crimes against children may have killed himself. He's on the FBI's most wanted list for child pornography charges and molesting at least one boy. But David Lee Sheffield vanished with the only traces left behind. A few seconds of surveillance video at an ATM in South Carolina in 2010 and his car recovered at this Covington motel in 2011. He's not been seen since then. Uh, he's not in custody that we know of. But Covington police believe they may have made a big break in the case. Human remains discovered by a land surveyor, less than an eighth of a mile from the America's Best Value Inn. Captain Craig Treadwell says a patrol officer helped detectives make the link. He remembered an abandoned vehicle that was left at a local hotel adjacent to the scene. The car belonged to Sheffield. Investigators also found several items that they say point to the fugitive. We found a pair of glasses. We also found a firearm, clothing items, um, been exposed to the weather for some time. Including what police say may be the same shirt that Sheffield is wearing in this video. According to the FBI, Sheffield was very active in the online gaming community and considered a risk to young boys. But from the looks of the scene and the way that the evidence is stacking up, police say the accused child pornographer may have killed himself years ago. If it's him, then we close the case. If it's not him, then we start looking again. But we got to rule it out. Now, the FBI has inf been informed of this discovery, and local police say they are waiting for dental records to come back to determine if they've found this fugitive. Reporting live in Covington, Carl Willis, Channel 2 Action News, Nightbeat.